So hello students. In this video, I want to just take a few minutes and I want you to, or I want to show you how to do a footnote because there's been so much uh, problems and issues with people just wanting, uh, wanting to know how to use a footnote and to provide a little further clarification. Here, this goes for you. So I'm going to share screen with you and we're going to go forward with how to do a footnote in Microsoft Word. So I am going to show you in this video how to do a footnote because there's been so many people who question uh, this, this process and how to do a footnote. So this is an essay that I have written uh, a long time ago. And so anytime that you're going to use a footnote, this is not a horribly complex process. I'm using Microsoft Word here. And the purpose of a footnote, I want to just impress upon you this, is for me to be able to check or any reader to check where you got your information from. So if you make a point, if you have read a book and you are making a citation from that book, you are taking a direct quotation or an idea from a book, an article, uh, a newspaper, anything that you are taking information from, the ultimate goal, what lies behind the citation is for me or the reader to be able to check and find where you got your information from. So let us imagine here we're going to find a place um, uh, here would be just fine. So we're going to make a citation right after First Enoch. So I take my cursor and I click behind the period of the sentence where I want to make a citation. Now every time that you use a footnote uh, you, you are going to do a new footnote. One footnote for the source that you're using for the entire essay is is not sufficient if you use it more than one time. So then we're going to click, we're going to go up here, we're going to take my cursor. After I've clicked on here, so leave, leave it where it is, we're going to come up to References, and I'm going to click References. Then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click Insert Footnote. Okay. So the cursor has now automatically dropped me down here. Don't touch anything, don't do anything. So now wherever you're taking your source from. So let's say you you are so you want to cite the author. So you want author comma space then we're going to turn this into italics. What does italics mean? It means something is published. So book title. We're going to take it out of italics. Then I'm going to put another comma, and then I'm going to put a little P down here. And there's actually a lot more to a Chicago-style citation. I don't want you to worry about that. I just want you, for the purpose of this introductory class and this exercise, to just simply tell me the author, the book title, and the page that you took it from. So if you took it from page 14, you put page 14, period, done. So then you can take your cursor up here, and you can then continue to write. And if you're going to uh, uh, make another citation, you would do it exactly in the same way. So don't worry about shorthand. If you want to get more technical with this, I'm very happy for you to do that. Um, but if you just want to use this form every single time uh, when you make a citation, that is absolutely fine. Um, don't stress about this. Don't uh, worry yourself about this. Just just remember that I want to be able to, to see where you're taking your information from. So now that you've made this citation here on footnote 2, so let's say you use the source again down here somewhere. And you want to, let's say right here. So I'm going to put my cursor again right there. If, I, if I've gone back to my home page, again, you're just going to hit References. You're going to hit Insert Footnote, and there it's going to come up to the, the whatever number footnote that you are on. So then you just, again, do the author, comma, italics, uh, title of book, comma, page 23, period, the end. That's all there is to doing a footnote. And then uh, if you would like to, you can, uh, you can of course, make a, uh, a references page at the end of your work, a bibliography uh, like this, which is uh, uses a different form. But again, if you just want to give me the title of the book, that's fine. 
I'm very happy to to accept that. Uh, just uh, just I need to know what you're using, and I've set the books for this class, so I do know that. Uh, but I just need to know where you're taking your information from, and you need to know how to use footnotes. So thank you for watching, and uh, and good luck if you have any further questions. I, if you are not using Microsoft Word. I don't know how to help you. So you're going to have to use uh, Microsoft Word for this exercise if, for, uh, for me to be able to assist you because I don't, uh, you know, I don't use Pages or uh, Google Docs or you know, the, those kinds of things uh, for this type of exercise. I only use Microsoft Word. So if you know how to do it in another, uh, another means uh, through another program, that's fine. Um, but uh, for the purposes of this exercise, I was just showing how to use uh, Microsoft Word. So good luck.